It is time to do some therapy. Somebody's got a problem and it needs a solution. Man, look here. You got a problem and you want to get advice on it? That's not hard to do. Go to the Tony Scott Show page, kmjm.com. Click that Therapy with Tony button and bam, you're going to go to the forum page. Put your name there and your email address right there and your problem right there. And then all you got to do is click submit. Dear Tony, I'm a married 30-year-old woman. My husband and I have a good thing together. We both have good jobs and we got a nice house. He's a great husband and a father. Here's the problem. I was feeling a little neglected by my husband this summer, so I started communicating with my ex by phone and text. Now we text every day, and our conversations are starting to sway in an intimate direction. I know I'm wrong, but I've always known that I still love my ex. He's married too, but he finds ways to communicate with me. Mind you, we have not seen each other in over 10 years, but the love and attraction is still as strong as it was when we were younger. I need some advice. Well, look here, Boo Boo the Fool. You are in love with the naughtiness of what you're doing. You said in your own words, you and your husband have a great thing. The guy that you're cheating with and you are cheating with him because you're behind your husband's back sending intimate text messages back and forth. Yeah, that's cheating. You need to cut off all communication with him. He's an ex for a reason. The man that you sleep with every night He's the one who's laying it down for you each and every day. He's going to work for you. He's being a good husband for you. If you've got kids, he's being a great father for you. He's doing all these things. And how are you repaying him back? By texting nasty things with an ex who's married. You ain't seen him in 10 years. He probably looks like, well, you need to stop. That's my advice. Just stop. Change your number if you can. Have no contact with the ex because I'm telling you, you're going down a road that's going to be a disaster for you and you alone. That's what I think. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. And thanks for watching.